Alright, um, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be creating uh, different uh, muzzle flashes and different weapon effects using VFX Graph. For this video, I'm going to be using the free VFX image sequences and flipbooks by Unity. I will link this in the description. You can uh, literally search uh, free flip books unity particle and this will be the first result and you can download all the flip books in a zip file and then uh, once you extract them uh, there are a lot of flip books in two different formats exrs and tga i assume this is going to be a long video so uh, let's jump right in and create a uh, uh, VFX graph, where is it? Visual effects, visual effect graph, and let's call it uh, muzzle flash. And drag it into the scene and drag it under our weapon, and let's reset its uh, transform and let's align it to the um, barrel of the gun. So here's the barrel of the gun and we're going to align it there uh, and also let's uh, get rid of some of these stuff that we're not gonna be seeing much so maybe it uh, improves the performance a little so let's uh, start editing this uh, VFX graph double click it to open it up in the VFX uh, graph editor and we're going to start by making the muzzle flash so uh first thing first things first we don't want a constant spawn rate here so let's delete this and add a burst uh you can uh, add a single burst and um uh, play this VFX graph through script every time you shoot but I'm going to go with periodic burst and I'm gonna set the fire rate or uh, basically the delay between each um, shot here uh, so let's go with something like 0.15 and let's spawn 20 particles each time so um, we don't want its lifetime to be random, so let's get rid of that and add a set lifetime and let's put it 2.1. So it's kind of like this. And we also don't need any velocity here, so let's get rid of that too. And let's give it a shape. Uh, the AA box is good, so. Uh, let's set its uh, position mode to volume. We're going to spawn from its volume. And let's change its size to 0 0.1, uh, 0.1, and 0.5 on the Z because, uh, you know, we're shooting this way, so it's going to be a little longer that way. If I disable the set size over lifetime for now you can see its uh, shape a little better so uh, also let's move it on the Z a little bit so it spawns somewhere like there maybe even like a little further like there maybe here I guess so uh, yeah and we also don't want to set its color over its lifetime so we can get rid of this and uh, now let's uh, assign it a texture so here from the flipbook textures that we uh, downloaded from uh, the unity uh, let's find this uh, fireball texture so Here's this fireball texture, which looks uh, so much like a muzzle flash. And I'm going to drag it into the main texture. 
and let's change the uh, UV mode to flip book and its grid is 8 by 8 so let's change it to 8 by 8 and the blend mode set the blend mode to additive and uh, as you can see it will give us a cut out clean uh, muzzle flash you can also enable um, soft particles let's also set its alpha to uh, 0.5 uh, as you can see if we decrease this it will uh, look a little less uh, harsh a little less uh, you know solid <laughs> and also let's uh, tweak this set size over lifetime um, maybe make it a little bigger from the beginning so maybe like starts from here and ends there something like this I think something like that looks uh, good and uh, also let's um, set color in the uh, initialize context to make it uh, you know have a little more glow here we can increase this the intensity of the color um, but going with two is a little too much you can go with uh, like 1.4 something like this looks good next thing we can do is uh, create a smoke so let's create a simple particle system and bring it right next to this guy and this one's going to have a constant spawn rate so let's set this one's spawn rate to 30 and uh, set its velocity to be going this way so uh, on the z we don't want it to go minus we don't want it to uh, come backwards so so let's set this to something like point point one and point uh, four um, and uh, we don't want it to uh, go too too much upward so let's also decrease its uh, y so it's just uh, point two point two and let's uh, also give it a shape so um, shape this one can be a sphere and we also want this to um, inst uh, spawn from the volume so uh, let's make this uh, radius a little bit smaller like 0.4 like point um, point four or like point five uh, yeah it looks like this and when we give it the texture so let's give it a uh, smoke so here are the smokes so there are two um, different uh, formats of each of these flip books this one we're going to use uh, this uh, TGA format and we're gonna use this uh, wispy smoke one so let's go here and drag and drop it into the main texture and set the UV to flip book it's also 8 by 8 and as you can see it kind of looks uh, cool already uh, in the set color over lifetime we can decrease the alpha to something like um, 40 um, 40 and this one can be like uh, 10 and as you can see it's like barely visible but uh, it is visible and it's pretty cool and also let's set the life uh, the size okay let's set this back to 255 just so we can see it uh, better so that we can uh, resize it so let's uh, make it a little bit 
bigger like this yeah it looks better now let's set this to i don't know 15 this one to uh, 40 and it looks cool right so next thing we can do is uh add the bullet shells coming out of here for that we can add another system uh, uh, simple particle system let's add another simple particle system and we're going to set uh, position so set position and we're going to position it here where the uh, bullet shells are ejected so somewhere here maybe a little bit on the uh, right side of the weapon so somewhere there the velocity is going to be um you know we're going to shoot this around the x axis towards the x axis so let's go with something like two to four or something like that we also want want it to kind of shoot upward so let's give it two and uh, three there as well so it goes upward like that but we we don't want it to just fly up there so let's also add gravity to it in the update context and as you can see it uh, goes upward but then it starts falling down okay we want this to uh, output into uh, output into a output particle uh, lit mesh so we're going to output a lit mesh and uh, uh, the mesh is going to be the bullet um, the bullet shell mesh so I have this one right here which looks like this and we're going to um, assign that to the mesh on this one so now it looks like this uh, we can give it the texture too so let's assign the texture as well it's uh, metal so bring the metallic all the way up and as you can see it's uh, rotated the wrong way we have to rotate it 90 degrees around the X so let's go to the initialize context and set uh, angle and around the x we're going to uh, rotate it 90 degrees so you may uh, realize that it looks kind of weird and if we pause this and uh, if you look at one of these uh, bullet shells you'll see that we can actually see through these bullet shells so to fix that we need to um, set their blend mode to uh, opaque so right now as you can see the bullet shells are looking uh, like bullet shells so to make them have random angles and not uh, be on this like fixed angle we can add some random angle here so um, add uh, angle random and let's go with uh, minus 20 to 20 on every angle so minus 20 to 20 minus uh, 20 to 20 and as you can see they all have this kind of randomness to them you can actually increase it a little bit more uh, but we can also add angle um, in the over lifetime or um, in the update you can add angle so add angle random and we want them to randomly uh, rotate over uh, over its, their lifetime so let's um, give them some random numbers and now they're rotating like that and uh, to make it not be a collision killed uh, here or 
in the inside the game you need to um, set their bounds uh, a little bit bigger so let's set it to five by five by five maybe and here one thing another cool thing we can do is to make them collide with the floor so uh, in the update context add collide with plane and as you can see they're colliding with a plane up here we don't want them to collide with the plane like there so let's set this plane's positions y to minus uh, two meters and as you can see now they're colliding with the floor and uh, as they collide with the floor uh, they just keep going that way which is kind of weird so let's add some friction so uh, let's set the friction to 0.5 so that they they don't stop immediately but they also don't go that far and let's also make them bounce a little more so 0.3 for the bounce and as you can see uh, the bullet shells are now hitting the floor and bouncing off uh, pretty cool okay one more thing uh, we're uh, spawning the shells uh, with a constant spawn rate uh, that's not what we want what we want is to spawn one uh, for every uh, shot so we're going to use a burst uh, a periodic burst and we're going to spawn one uh, for with the same delay of our muzzle flash so let's copy that and paste it here and as you can see now uh, it spawns one uh, shell for every uh, muzzle flash shot and one more thing we can do is add a bit of uh, smoke and distortion coming out of the barrel and we can use uh, one of these uh, candle smokes so this candle smoke uh, looks kind of looks like a smoke coming out of a barrel although it's a candle smoke so let's uh, add a simple particle system and we're going to um, assign this candle smoke to the main texture it's going to be a flip book it's 20 by 4 so let's give it 20 by 4 and it looks like this uh, let's get rid of this set random velocity and we're going to um, scale it on the uh, and also this is going to be spawned once for um, you know one for every shot so we can use the same spawn context as our shells for this one too so uh, this one is going to be longer on its y-axis so set scale and we're going to scale it on the y-axis let's make this like I don't know five so that it's like taller that way and we also want it to uh, to be um, that uh, aligned that way uh, let me get rid of this size over lifetime for now okay as you can see this is our uh, smoke if I disable our muzzle flash for now let's set velocity and give it a little bit of velocity going uh, out from the barrel so on the Z we're going to give it like I don't know 0. 0.5 or something maybe a little more like 1 and then we're going to set it to uh, its orientation to be a long velocity and now as you can see it kind of looks like it's coming out of the barrel let's get rid of this random lifetime and give it a, a set lifetime and it's going to be like um, 0.3 as you can see it's just coming out of the barrel like that 
and let's set it uh, let's give it a position so set uh, position set position and let's make it come out of the barrel like here we don't need to change the color we only need to change the alpha so let's get rid of that and instead add a set um, alpha random and set it to be like 0.1 to like 0.7 something like that okay now we can um, use the same uh, update con context to do another uh, output so we're going to output a distortion quad so this distortion quad is also going to be facing uh, the same uh, is going to have the same orientation as a as this smoke so let's copy this along velocity and paste it on this guy and as you can see uh, the uh, distortion is uh, taking place but we're going to use a different texture this disk texture uh, I think this disk, disk texture looks good so uh, let's put this uh, disk texture onto its uh, uh, distortion blur map and its UV mode to be uh, flipbook and it's 16 by 4 and as you can see it's uh, a lot cooler now we can decrease its a uh, blur a little bit so let's set it to like 0.3 as you can see it's kind of like heat and smoke coming out of the barrel and if we uh, enable the muzzle flash, uh, where was the muzzle flash? You can see it kind of looks pretty cool uh, combined together. Actually, we can move this muzzle flash a little bit further, like somewhere like here. And as you can see, it kind of looks pretty cool. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. It looks like heat and smoke coming out and turning into muzzle flash. So um, another thing we can do is we can add uh, the same kind of smoke coming out of here where the uh, bullet shells are being ejected. So uh, let's copy this uh, and paste it here. So uh, distortion or you can call it like muzzle heat or something. And this one's going to be the... Uh, the shell smoke so shell smoke and we're going to copy the position of the shell so uh, the set position we're going to copy that and we're going to paste it on uh, this one so uh, we're going to paste it and we can get rid of this other uh, set position and we can change its um, um, velocity to be on the x so that it will be coming out of uh, coming out that way we are not spawning this because the spawn context is not connected to it so that's why we couldn't see it all right now as you can see the same kind of heat and smoke is coming out of uh, coming out from here and we can actually make this go uh, both upward so like 0.3 on the Y and 
it goes this way and we can actually make it a little bit higher so point one point five there or point four maybe yeah and I actually think we don't need that much heat coming out from the chamber so we can just get rid of the distortion quad and just output some smoke here alright now um, in order to be able to use this muzzle flash for all sorts of weapons we need to um, expose some of the properties like the fire rate so uh, let's go into the blackboard and add a float and let's call it uh, uh, fire rate and the default value would be 0.15 the same value as we're using right now and let's drag it in here and plug it into the delay same thing with this one let's plug it into this one as well and now when you select this uh, visual effects graph you can uh, modify this value so you can increase it to like one and it will become like a semi-automatic weapon and if you set it to be uh, I don't know like uh, point one it will become like a machine gun like a mini gun or something if you set it to point two it will become like a assault rifle or something so one more thing before I end this video uh, is that when we move the gun you can see that all the bullet shells and all the smoke will follow uh, the gun and if you rotate it all of them will rotate with the gun so to fix this we should uh, convert them into world space and to do that we have to um, uh, go to our smoke so in the initialized context on the top right corner it says local and if you click on it it will switch to world and we can do the same thing for our shell we can switch that into world and now if we move the gun so if you move the gun you can see that uh, the smoke will be left behind it and it will no more uh, follow the movement of uh, the gun same thing happens with the uh, bullet shells as you can see if I rotate this uh, weapon you can see that the bullet shells are uh, in the world space. So that's it for part one of this tutorial. We created a basic muzzle flash with the smoke and bullet shells, and we added a property for the fire rate. In part two, we will add more properties to the graph so that we can customize it for different weapons. And we will create a stylized star shape muzzle flash with point caches. As well as a cool shotgun muzzle flash with sparkles coming out of the barrel. I'll also show you how to add lights to your muzzle flash so that you can actually cast light to its surroundings. So uh, stay tuned for part two. And until then, peace out.